Welcome back everybody. So this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on SMCI and yes, you heard that right on SMCI and before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys and if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you want to help out the channel and get my daily trade ideas, swing trade ideas, live trading, and all kinds of setups, definitely check out the Patreon and that link will be down below in the description. And now let's get right into it. So here on SMCI, you can see massive drop 20% after hitting another fresh new all-time high on Friday. A lot of people bought puts and they made money here on the stock and especially Joe from my Patreon member, he actually played this thing and uh, I think he got about uh, $20,000 in profit in just buying Lotos on Friday. So a lot of people made money and I was really happy about that. Now this thing I only traded one time and that was just after earnings. I actually showed it and this thing dumped. We got out quickly and that was it. I don't really trade you know, big moves like this and especially shorting also really scary because you can see how this thing was going up in a straight line and no pullback, nothing. Now, there are some opportunities going into next week on Tuesday here on SMCI. Also guys, if this was Apple or Microsoft, I would probably not say this, but if you're playing this, make sure you do your own research. Now here on SMCI, you can see this thing drop $200 in just a matter of a couple hours on Friday. And now trading around 815. Now also if you look at my screen, we got some mini pullbacks here and there, nothing big. But also look at this uptrend. So far it's holding and even on this pullback Friday, we touched it right here and this thing actually held right here when back up. And also if you look at uh, all these FIB levels right here. You can see 50% retracement. It's down here 787.29 and also this big level right here 800 that is a big support. Now that is where you can actually make money because if this thing actually breaks below this 50% retracement and also below this trend line which is 800, you're going to see another big dump off and another retracement right here on this FIB level and that is gonna be 38% coming all the way down to 718.72. So that's gonna be another $80 drop on SMCI and also this thing will break this uptrend and whenever you see something like this breaking a big uptrend, you're going to see more dump off and this thing can come down even more possibly retracing down to $633.87. Now, so far, that is the level to watch to the downside. Now, what about upside? Yes, we saw that pullback down here close to 800. Immediately, we saw a bounce, and now this thing is up uh, right after closing 1.45%. So are we going to see another gap up? And if that actually happens, watch out. This thing can move up to right here and that is sitting around 850 five day moving average and above that we also will have resistance right here at 61.8 and that is 855.87 and these levels here can act as a magnet so this is gonna be your line in the sand right here i would say in between 800 to 787.29 to hold right here on any pullback on SMCI to buy the dip and play it to the upside. Now also, buying the dip does not mean that you go and swing trade this stock the next day. That is a dangerous game you're playing if you're doing that right here on SMCI. So uh, try to avoid swing trade on SMCI, only day trade in and out, no holding nothing and like I said, make sure you do your own research on SMCI. So this stock here, yes, as long as this uptrend can hold, we could see a move possibly up to 850 to 855 and maybe even higher all the way back up to right here. And that is around 953.50, which is going to be a huge amount if you're actually buying here and getting out after 953. 
Now, to the downside, that's where you got to watch this. Because we all know, you know, some of these stocks are going up massively. And then, you know, once we get that breakdown to the downside and the trend line breaks, especially uptrend, what happens? Immediately, we could see this thing pulling back down to 600, 500. That is possible. So there could be more downside also on this break below 800 to 787. Now, keep that in mind also. What do we got Friday? Huge sell-off, right? And also a big bearish engulfing candle. You cannot ignore this. But also we know that this thing running on drugs, which is short squeeze, and that is why this thing got up to, you know, 1,000 plus, and now it's pulling back. And you know that what happens after a massive short squeeze, usually they go back to Earth, which is the land where the thing was before. And that could be, you know, what's happening on SMCI. So that is why it's really risky to play this thing. But if you get it right, you can make a ton of money. So I'm looking at this and probably will play something small going into next week. As long as the support can hold in between 787 to 800, that is going to be a dip by area right here on SMCI for me to play to the upside. But moment, this thing actually takes out this support. This uptrend will break, and that means one thing, you're going to see massive, massive dump off. And the next stop will be right here, 718, 633, and possibly all the way down to this high right here. And that is around 500 to 496, guys. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think? Is it actually worth playing this stock or just totally ignore it? Thank you so much for watching, guys.